Hi guys, Crafty Chip Diamond here. How you doing today? Um, oh my goodness. Um, this is a hot mess and I apologize for it, but um, you know, everybody knows what a diamond painting looks like when it comes in a box. Well, I decided I wanted to take everything out of the box because the edges of my diamond painting were kind of crinkled and I'm still working out the crinkles. But anyways, welcome everybody. Welcome to my channel. Um, oh my gosh, I don't want to jinx myself. I'm getting so close, so close so close uh yeah um to that big number uh and i just want to thank everybody for it um it's been a great road great journey um and i'm so excited to maybe by the end of this month or maybe in february i will hit that number but anyways today i have something from dreamers design um this is your basic box has a little handle uh, their advertisement, how to do everything. A lot of us are, we have some new diamond painting painters out there. And then we have, you know, a lot of us that have been diamond painting for a couple of years. Um, it's very, very simple to diamond paint. Um, you're just putting a little piece of risen plastic on a sticky canvas, and then you're going to make it come to life. And it's just your masterpiece, your special painting that you've worked hard on. I'm sorry. I'm talking so fast because it's early in the morning and you know, I have to go to work. And uh, I thought, well, I could do this after work. And I'm like, no, nah, just do it now, Laura. If you're late, you're late. I'm always late. I'm always late. Today is going to be uh, tomato Florentine soup, grilled cheese, fruit, and some crackers. And I'll make some uh, homemade croutons for the soup today. And uh, we're supposed to have a big snowstorm coming in. Snowstorm coming in. I'm hoping snow day, no school tomorrow. Okay, let's get going on this, you guys. All right, you get an instruction book. So if you're a newbie, it's all here for you. Uh, there are so many videos out there to teach you how to diamond paint, tips and tricks and all that good fun stuff. Uh, but this comes from the company of Dreamers Design to help you out um, with your first diamond painting, if that's the case. Or if you have any questions, if you aren't an uh, experienced diamond painter and you're like uh, me and you get a little bit of dementia in your head and you're like, oh, what was it? What was it? This might help you out. Okay, you get this fantastic toolkit. Oh my gosh, this is so soft and fluffy. I think I'll save these and make me some PJ pants out of it and take it to the seamstress. Like, so great. So if you've never experienced a Dreamer Design kit, uh, you know, give it a try. Give it a swirl. You'll really, really enjoy it. All right. Everything is purple, my favorite color. Wow, you get all this neat stuff in here. A bag of bags. Purple wax, purple wax. This is for your ABs. A AB is a special coating diamond with some, uh, it's called the Aurora Borealis and it just makes your canvas sparkle and shine a little bit more and sometimes they're hard to put on your canvas so they uh send you a special pin just for that your regular stylus pin purple squishy um a little brush i don't know what this is y'all can leave me some chef notes down below i don't know i don't know um tweezers a four placer or a three placer um, seven placer, eight placer. I don't know. I don't use these. A lot of people use these. I just enjoy single placing right now. That's just my jam. And then you have these dividers. The last kit that I opened up only had one. This one has two. So you can go up to four diamond uh, drills that you can work on at the same time. And the other one had a pull down barn door. Okay, this barn door you're going to pull. Ooh. You pull up to come out. Maybe it's not. All right, it doesn't want to come out. Oh, there we go. Okay, so this, some of them have barn doors that open out. This one has its individual um, door that you can put in. Voila, voila. Okay, there you go. Very cool. Has their signature um, Dreamers design on the back. Very cool like it i like it a lot a lot a lot okay so normally your canvases are going oh, let's get all this stuff out of the way normally your canvases are going to come rolled up 
Um, in the past, they used to put a uh, foam roller in there. They took that out. Um, maybe they should put the foam rollers back in again because my edges are really, really crinkly. It's been sitting up here for about four days now. Well, I've been moving it around in between videos and stuff. But it's still crinkly, but that's okay. I will put it on top of my dryer, turn it on, put some weight on it, and it will flatten out. Uh, okay, so your diamond painting is going to come rolled up. And then they're going to put this beautiful ribbon around it. And then it comes in this beautiful dust bag. Isn't that cool? And everything is just so professional. So, so professional. I love it. I love it. Oh, and you get a straightener. That kind of fell out. Yeah, so that comes in there. Sorry for the Band-Aid. And it's blue. You know why a, a chef wears a blue Band-Aid? Like if I'm making soup today and I lose my Band-Aid, guess what? It'll be identified in the soup. And then, of course, I have to throw the soup away. But... <laughs> <laughs> that's what we do. I had a little tiny um, cut and then all of a sudden I just lost all my skin. I don't know. I might have to go get it checked out. Okay. I know you're seeing what my canvas is, but that's okay. Uh, you get a symbol sheet. This is the painting that I'm going to be doing. It's Sweet Candy Apple. Uh, let's see if I can pronounce your name, Romy. Lairda. Romy Lairda. Uh, you have a start and a uh, end date on there. You have some great stickers if you want to decorate your logbook. If you do a logbook, some do, some don't. Some do it um, on the internet and they keep their diary however you want to do it. Uh, you have all your symbols here. They're little stickers and they can go on your storage. I use a storage. Uh, everybody does it different. Some people um, use a storage, but then they keep all their symbols together. Um, on their sheet. Some people take peel them off and put them on their storage containers. I peel them off and put them on my storage container. It is numbered. It has 68 colors. It is around. It's a 60 by 90 centimeters. Or if you want to go by regular inches, 23.6 by 35.4. Okay. Um, there's a lot of ABs in here. Not a lot of ABs. You just want to give it that little bit of sparkle and shine. And that's what I like. I do not go over where the ABs uh, go on a canvas because I want to enjoy the experience myself. If I know where they're going to go to begin with, then it's, to me, it's not fun anymore. Um, but everybody has their own preference on how they want to present their canvas or how they work their canvas. It's all about you yourself and how you want to do your artwork. Uh, this is called Sweet Candy Apple. We'll start at the very beginning here. Look at those skulls. I haven't figured out why she put the skulls in there. Maybe you guys can leave me some chef notes down below. But you have the beautiful mirror, mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? Uh, but what I'm not a big fan of this artist. Okay. Um, uh, there was, I've, there's, I don't know. I've looked at a lot of her artwork and it just wasn't for me. But when this one came out, I was like, I have to have it. I have to have it. Um, cause a lot of her, to me, my own opinion, and I'm entitled to my own opinion, y'all. Um, a lot of her paintings have like a really long neck and this one, she does have the long neck, but it's, accented with other stuff so it makes it look a little bit shorter um i love her eyes in this one i don't know i just love everything about it okay and there's some just great points about this whole diamond painting i know you've seen some um glare there i'd apologize it's early in the morning maybe i should turn some more light on sometimes lighting does well and sometimes it doesn't do very well let's see that helps out a little bit, but I still see some glare. Okay, so we have the apple. and Everybody knows about the apple in the story. Uh, she's just beautiful. I like how she has a modern hair bow. Everything about it's uh, modern. Snow White modern. Okay. Uh, down here, you have all the seven dwarfs hats. So they're, they are with her in the mirror. Okay, so what sold me on this, you guys, is she's wearing blue jeans. Not only that. Did I leave my notes downstairs? <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Okay. Check it out. The Rolling Stones. Oh, my gosh. Yes, the Rolling Stones. Sticky Finger album from 1971. Um, and in 2003, the, uh, album was voted the best album cover 
of all time from VH1. Guys, um, the symbol comes from a Hindu goddess that always had her tongue hanging out. And then they took, they found an artist. His name is John. I didn't get the last name. Uh, and then he just made this. And it's been an... It's been a thing ever since if you're a Rolling Stone fan with Mick Jagger. Okay, so then uh, like you have the candy apple up here. Come eat my poison apple. I'm going to lose Hammy. Everything's going to fall. My apologies. My apologies. Look at the down below. She's got her blue jeans on. She's got an apple down here. And then you have this beautiful mirror. Just, you know, and she's got the seven doors with her. It's just, well, they have, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. Um, this is a round diamond painting. Like I said, it has um, 68 colors. And then there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, oh, seven, seven um, accent drills to go with this canvas. The very bottom says paint with passion. You have all your information about dreamers designs. You can't go wrong. They have like a new, um, to me, to me is a new, um, canvas. It's very soft lint. It's not the nylon type canvas. Uh, yeah. And if you're a new diamond painter, you have your symbols in your lower, uh, left hand, upper right, you have all your information about the canvas on top with a thumbnail right up here on your upper left. It's licensed by license uh, from Romy Lerda, the size and the name of the canvas. Yes, isn't she cute? I love it. I can't wait to see. I wonder if they put some bling bling in her eyes. Oh my goodness, she's gorgeous. Okay. I am so glad I picked this up. Um, I even received a notification from Dreamers Design that uh, the stock is low. You better get it. Well, I have it. I have it. Okay, so let me show you some of the, these ABs that are going to go in it. And you can tell there's not very many, so you don't want to overload this canvas. And um, I'm all about... I, I like to bling stuff up, but then I'm not good at it. So, you know, the artist and the company knows what they're doing at that point. I think they do. Uh, so you have a beautiful light pink, a blue, a red, your candy apple red. I, I'm pretty sure that's going in the candy apple. And you have green, lavender, of course, white. Look at that blingy blingy. Isn't that great? And yellow. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking some of the yellow is going to go in the frame. I just love this. I love the skulls at the top. Oh, no. Do I have another one that's losing? Okay, this is the second one. And, you know, somebody told me, Lord, you better check all your diamonds because they have little holes. Well, guess what? Yep, I got yellow ABs leaking out. All right. Got to get the tape out. Um, yeah, they're all over the place. Oh, my goodness. All right. Okay, so that's one thing Dreamer Designs needs to work on, um, leaky drills. These are all the beautiful colors that's going to make this canvas come to life. Um, I'm not going to take them all out, guys. I mean, a lot of us know what a diamond looks like. I do know uh, from working with Dreamer's Design that they do have beautiful diamonds. Um, I don't get technical. I don't know whether they're acrylic or if they're resin or whatever i just know um i have some beautiful diamonds and they're going to go in a storage container and i'm going to start painting i'm very i'm very plain jane i have a great recipe here and i'm just going to put it together but look at all these beautiful colors oh there's a lot of ab's so i'm not ab's uh 310 yeah because all of the the background so yeah guys um she is stunning just stunning. Sorry for the crinkle, but it's part of the uh, arts and crafts that goes with everything. So let me show you one more time because I just think she's fabulous, fabulous. Oh my goodness. Oh, right. I just love those skulls. Oh my goodness. Can you imagine if there's white ABs in there? Oh, okay. And the front and the, the picture, the mirror frame, just I'm, I'm so excited. To, I don't know when I'll get this started, but I'm really excited about it. She is stunning. And her collar, 
her blue t-shirt and of course the rolling stones <laughs> i just that is that was the right there the scarf because that's the kind of scarf i wear in my hair at work oh my gosh yeah all right so i can keep going on guys she's beautiful she is so beautiful and that fancy apple at the bottom yeah um again yeah i'm excited <laughs> How can somebody get so excited over a painting? I am so excited. Um, I wonder if there'll be some other Disney characters coming out. Oh, that would be great. All right, Romy. Disney. More Disney. All right, you guys. I'm going to go. I'm late. Um, I'm drinking my coffee, and it's time to have some coffee. Where am I drinking coffee at today? I am in South Carolina. Yeah. All right, you guys. I'm going to merge this while I'm at work, while I'm fixing some uh, making soup and grilled cheese for the kiddos. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. And I have to pick up all these little ABs and give them a new home. All right. Have a wonderful day. Crafty Chef Diamond is out. Bye, guys.